for financial decision making. We will be talking about diversification, why it is important, and we'll be talking about our chosen company, Trust Power Limited, and their past with diversification. Trust Power Limited is a gas, power, and broadband company located in New Zealand. Their first ever power station dates to 1915 and it was in Tauranga. Trust Power Limited has evolved into one of New Zealand's biggest energy and telecommunication companies. So what is diversification and why is it important? Diversification is when you invest into two or more assets whose values are not always going to move in the same direction. This would result in a lower overall risk. In a simple term, it would mean to not put all your eggs into one basket. For many companies, it is a good strategy to invest into multiple industries at the same time because investing into one industry can become a big risk. Diversity is used by companies as a way to expand into other markets and industries that they have not stepped foot upon yet. To achieve this, companies would try to offer new products or services that would attract consumers in that particular market. Diversification is important because it helps with companies to reach long-term financial goals without needing to make any huge risks. By stepping into multiple industries, it puts companies in better position to balance the volatility of individual investments and opens up more opportunities for companies. In summary, diversification is a strategy used by businesses as a means to minimize risk by expanding into different industries, which can result in boosting a brand's image and profitability. So what are the positives and negatives of diversification? While the positives are economies grow and economies slow down. Consumers have certain ways of spending money, which can turn into habits. An example of this can be seen with the purchase of luxury items. When capital is more available, the consumer is likely to buy a certain luxury item. This gives evidence that diversification has a portfolio, as the consumer has owned little percentages of each industry. This means that some companies will always be growing, while others will be slowing down. Certain companies do not perform to the best of their ability. This gives evidence that businesses could do the opposite of what you thought their performance would be. Strategies can be implemented to cause liquidation and then placed into diverse, diversified components that have success, giving more evidence that allows more money to grow over time. Some industries will be in decline for factors such as COVID-19 or natural disasters. Diversification can allow the investors who has brought shares to have movement away from activities that are in decline financially. So the strategy can always provide them with a form of growth. Even the best of companies like Tesla can have a decline in growth and financial capability. This can be caused by unpleasant surprises. Having a diversified portfolio can cause you not to be as effective as all of your eggs are not in one basket. An example of this could be two completely opposite industries, like a supermarket and an airport. As one will always be growing, this was seen through the pandemic, where a major increase in supermarkets revenue compared to the decrease of airports revenue. So what are the negatives of diversification? Well, when investing without diversification, you are taking a rather big risk. However, could have a major reward compared to being diverse, where all your eggs are spread out and is seen as a more conservative response, where the profit margin is not as high. Investors have bonds in their portfolio. This helps with the offset of declines in the NZX50 index. Problems that can occur is a loss of money and the credit card status. Also, the suspicious activities that could require an investigation. There is a complexity where you must look over and watch the performance of each company, which causes a lot of work, compared to investing only in one company. This causes complexity to the portfolio and management increase, but also bureaucratic costs that have to be paid and maintain investments if you want it for a long period of time. Asset classes can be tracking many assets. This causes investments but to become problematic. This means an investor must be focused and wary towards tasks and anything that is, that is considered too good to be true. However, alternative funds can perform well compared to others. So how did Trust Power Limited diverse in the past? Trust Power is a multiple product company offering things across electricity, gas, and telecommunications. Over the past decade, they have diversified in many ways. In 2012, Trust Power begins to offer ultra-fast broadband, 
due to the New Zealand's huge increase of fibre networks nationwide. Later in 2013, Trust Power purchases Energy Direct NZ, which offered gas and electricity services to customers throughout New Zealand. They launched a new brand and began offering pipes and bottled gas to customers. Trustees came up with a resolution to sell $20 million of the shares in Trust Power and to invest the proceeds into a diversification portfolio with the goal of diversifying. The result of this was the sales of the shares reaching the proceeds of about $155 million. Later on in 2016, Trust Power underwent a demerger, which resulted in the creation of Tilt Renewables Limited and Trust Power split into two separate entities. Tilt Renewables Limited is an energy generation company residing in Australia. The outcome of this was that Tilt Renewables was to hold all of the wind generation assets with the addition of wind and solar development projects. The primary goal of Tilt Renewable is to meet Australia's renewable energy needs. The new Trust Power holds all of New Zealand and Australian hydro generation assets and holds New Zealand's retail business. What can Trust Power Limited do in the future to further diversify? Trust Power Limited already has a scheme where residents who already use solar energy can sell the extra energy produced by their solar panels back to solar buddies. Since Trust Power already have a step inside the solar energy market, in the future, they can most likely consider being a supplier for solar panels as solar energy is an increasingly growing market in New Zealand. In addition to this, Trust Power owns many lakes and rivers for the hydroelectric dams. To become more diverse, Trust Power could look into making their own bottled water, which could increase revenue. Trust Power owns 38 power stations and will not lose business in moving towards the idea of bottled water. Furthermore, customers are wanting a high quality, pure and natural product that is superior to the water that comes out of the tap, which Trust Power can provide as they have all the resources to do so. Thank you for watching our presentation.